it's your girl, Noelle Taco Bell, and it's been a heck of a long time since I made a video. And I know I said that the last time, but seriously, it's been a long time. I've cut my hair off, I survived midterms, lots of things happened, and I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a long time. Alright, anyways, and guess what? There is two months till Christmas! So stoked for Christmas, but I talked about that before. So let's get on to today's video. Wow! Oh, today I want to show you guys what's in my Ipsy bag that I got this month. I started it this month. Ipsy. If you don't know what Ipsy is, basically it's a beauty product company that sends you five samples each month for ten dollars, and this isn't like your regular like Maybelline, L'Oreal, this is like really good stuff. You go on the website for Birchbox and Ipsy and so I'm trying to compare the two. I'm trying to see which one I like more. I really did like Birchbox so but I'm trying Ipsy now. But anyways, so you go on the website and you sign up you fill out like your beauty profile, so like what kind of hair you have, the problems you have with your hair, what kind of skin tone, uh, do you have oily, dry skin, you know, colors you prefer, things like that. And then when it's time, they'll send you five products. It usually takes three to five days to come in, and they send you a cute little bag. The bag is different every month. So this is October's bag. And look, there's like a little like bat, which is I think is super cute. Maroon is such a beautiful color, and I don't know if you can see, but it's like a really pretty lacy color. I love it so much. So today I'm going to be showing you three out of the five products that I got in this bag. Test them out, tell you how I feel about them, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and if I think it's worth it if you do Ipsy every month. It's kind of nice, it's like a little treat in your mailbox every month, so it's super fun. The products I'm going to show you today that came in my Ipsy bag are Studio Makeup Lip Gloss. So this was, this is what comes in it, this little thing, which is cute. And the other products that came in it that I'm not going to show you like what it does is this hair product. It smells so good. I don't even know what it smells like, but it smells amazing. It's like an oil, but it doesn't feel like oil. It kind of feels like, I don't know, not oil. It feels like water, kind of, but it smells really good. Another product I'll be showing you today is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Mattifying Powder. So basically you put it on your face and it makes your pores disappear. And then the last product I'll be showing you that they sent me was, if I can find it, I kind of put all my junk in here because I was running out of room. The last product I'll be showing you is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara that they sent me. So I'm super excited. So I got my handy dandy mirror so I can see what I'm doing. So first I'm going to start off with the pore mattifying stuff. You know what? I killed a stink bug last night and I felt pretty accomplished. So here is the airbrush. It says airbrush silk press anti-aging finishing powder. So you open it and there's a, a little applier. You can use this or you can use like your own beauty blender or brush or whatever you like to use. So let's use this. So you just kind of push it onto your problem areas where you get oily or where you feel like your pores are really big and you pat it and you kind of swirl it like this and then you just do that all over my problem areas are my t-zone and my inner cheeks and my chin those are the spots that get the most oily and my biggest pores. Now you can use this without any makeup on or you can use it over your like finished look. I don't use it with makeup on and I I like it but it kind of dries your skin out. I don't know if you can see. 
but there's like flags on my nose, which I don't really like. But it does make my pores look, I don't know, kind of smaller. I don't know if you can see. I want to try it with foundation to see if it makes it look any different. But for what it is, it works pretty well. Alright, the next product they have is the Studio Makeup. It's a gloss Kalua Intense. And they didn't let you like choose a color or anything. It's just based off of your profile. So let's put it on and see what it looks like. It's pretty pigmented, from what I can tell. It smells kind of weird. It reminds me of Christmas, which is... Oh, I messed up. Why did I still? So, there's the color. As you can see, it's definitely shiny, definitely glossy, and, I mean, the color is pretty true to what it looks like. You could probably put a few more layers, it just feels really heavy on your lips. I do like it. I prefer like liquid lipsticks or something more matte, but I do like it, and I mean, it makes my lips feel soft, so I guess that's good. I don't really know its main purpose, but... I like it for what it is. Okay, the last product I will be trying is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes for One Mascara. I've used the other two products before. This one I've only used once and I liked it, but I put it on my bottom lashes, which I don't necessarily like doing. But let's check it out and let's see how it looks. There's the applicator. My first impression so far is it definitely gives you more volume and makes them longer. There's not much clumping, which is nice. And it's pretty easy to use. I wish it was longer, but since it's just a sample, it doesn't really give you a longer applicator. So. Here's my eye with it and without. As there's a clear difference, but I definitely think if I were to actually purchase this product, I think it would be better with the longer applicator. But I do like it, so and I'm sure with like multiple layers, if you want to do that. But I don't feel like I have to do multiple layers because it did a pretty good job the first time. So I'm gonna do the other eye. Alright. And there you have it, there's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes with my Studio Makeup Lip Gloss and the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. So my overall impression of these products is they work pretty well. If I were to actually purchase them, the only one I would actually purchase is probably the mascara. The, the pores one works pretty well, I just don't like the way that it dries my skin out which foundation might change that so and the lip gloss is nice but like i said i prefer like a liquid lipstick or something more matte so that's my personal preference but if you guys are interested in these products i would try to link them below so you, are, you can buy them purchase them and hopefully you guys like what you saw and you'll like this video and hopefully if you really want to purchase ipsy i will also put their link below because it's really a great deal, five samples for $10 a month of high-end beauty products. So I hope you guys have a great week. Hope you see me next week in my next video. I hope you have a great day. Peace out.